Thanks for sticking with us. What's up, Lizzie? Hi. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Woohoo! <laughs> so welcome to Adobe Live here on Behance. If you're watching on YouTube, come over to Behance, hang out with us. Uh, we're hosting Illustration Week this week, which not biased at all, but it's my favorite week. <laughs> I think it's probably Lissy's too. Yep, yep. Uh, we have some amazing illustrators this week. We already had Leonard earlier with Christine working on a cool, very muscly horse illustration. It was choice. <laughs> and now we've got Lissy Marlin going to be working on some really beautiful textured illustrations, but we'll get to that soon. Followed by Chris and ending the day with Emma at 1.30. So stick around for more streams, but of course, stay tuned for this stream. Right now, everyone's saying what's up in the chat. What's up, Tim, Anna, hey. Alex? Hello, hello, Heidi, how you doing? Uh, if you're just tuning in with us, say hello to us. Make sure you are logged in on Behance because that's also how you're gonna be able to participate in our chat and win. In about 30 minutes, we're gonna be giving away a large Moo notebook with Layflat. <laughs> Technology. What? Get to zoom in on this, can we? I'm so jealous. <laughs> I mean, I we can't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, here you go. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> Actually, we have a stack over here, so maybe. But stick around for that. You're going to be able to participate if you are logged in and active with us. More info on that soon. And then we're also challenging you to work alongside Lissy and do some illustration. Uh, it's a good chance for you to maybe try out some new programs, possibly Photoshop Sketch or Illustrator Draw. They're both free, uh, both great places to get started, and they're both on mobile devices, Android included. So check those out. The theme today for the challenge is to make an illustration based off of Leonard's work. So check out the challenge tab over here for more info about that. And then you're going to upload it to our gallery. We already have one submitted for this session. So you have some competition. It's pretty cute. Ooh, uh, that's beautiful. Yeah, all of these are really nice. But you have an hour, a little less than an hour, actually. There will be a little timer below us to give you a heads up about that. And then that's all the housekeeping. <laughs> so, Lissy, what's up? How are you? Hey, guys. Yay. Thanks for having me. Of course. Um, Who are you? So. <laughs> As you know, I'm Lizzie Marlin. <laughs> I'm from the Dominican Republic. Um, so if I have a little, a little accent and you guys don't understand something, just say it in the chat. I can say it again. Or we'll repeat, but it's good. Um, I am from Philadelphia. I work mostly in children's book illustrations at the moment. So cute. But I, I love going off children's books and doing a little bit more of animation, um, maybe background painting for fluid animated shows mm -hmm. and character design. So, so yeah, I just, I just I just love to get paid to do cute things. <laughs> Isn't that the best? You have the coolest job of all time. I know. I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world. And it's the best. Yeah, luckily you're very talented and skilled, so I don't Thank think you'll you. have to give it up. Totally. <laughs> now this reminds me of The Secret of Kells, kind of. A little bit. The it's, style. I think I think I drew it right after I saw that movie. Yeah. Oh my Honestly. gosh. It's so that's such an inspirational style specifically. Uh, Terrence says your illustrations are very smooth. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Anna says I like your accent. Thank so you. Keep I'm, it I'm up. glad. Yeah. <laughs> Totally. And um, Dana says, so adorable. Tim says that he can definitely understand why you got invited to Adobe Live. <laughs> Thank you. Thrilled. Yes. Thanks, guys. Cool. So if you want to check out more of Lissy's work, you can go to lissymarlin.com or follow her on Instagram at lazyfish11. Yeah, yeah lazyfish11. Yeah, it's I, I, we talked about us a little bit uh, mm -hmm. before, but Lazy Fish is because every time I say my name, <laughs> I say it with the accent, and a lot of people think I'm saying lazy. <laughs> They're like, your name's lazy, huh? <laughs> right, right. So Lazy Fish, cool. it's perfect. There it is. <laughs> See? Proof. Go give her a follow, give her a shout out, but also just stick around and hang out because you're going to be working on some really beautiful floral work today. <laughs> cool. Tell us about it. What are you going to be doing? Cool. So... I have to work on a little illustration. So, okay, I'm going to, I'm hoping to participate um, on a gallery show with Light Gray Art Lab. Awesome. Um, they are doing a little bit of a charity event to sort of send support to those that are working with the wildfires in, Cali wildfires mm -hmm. in California. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think my illustration will be themed, praying for rain. Yeah. And cool. I think it's gonna be a lot of flowers, a little bit of water, um, color, cool colors and warm colors. So I hope, I hope nice. I 
do it, do it some justice. Yeah, I see behind us like you use cool and warm in a lot yeah. of your work. Yes, that's my the whole favorite spectrum. Thing. <laughs> yeah, very beautiful, super colorful, but also pretty realistic. Like it's believable. Oh, even though thank it's whimsical. You. Yeah. Thank totally. you. I'm, I'm glad you think so. <laughs> totally. What's up, Mark, Kendra, Blanca, Arlie? Thanks for being here with Ooh, us. Hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Mark? Uh, cool. So you have a sketch that mm. you've already worked on. Yes. Yeah. So cute. Straight out of like a Disney movie. <laughs> Love. <laughs> I just know all the right things to say. I you guess. do, you do, you really do. <laughs> As a fellow illustrator, I know how to build up another illustrator. <laughs> awesome. Um, so this is a very loose sketch. Um, because of time constraints, it is possible that a lot of the detail is gonna go away. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I often start with a colored line, um, mostly because it's easy in the eyes if you work on another color on yeah. top, like maybe darker. Mm -hmm. um, so. Once I have a sketch that I'm sort of happy with, I'll just tone it down in the back and just go at it again mm -hmm. and clean it up with the darker line color, maybe black if I feel very confident, yeah. confident or um, often maybe blue. Yeah, but something darker in value. Something darker. And yeah. you're working on another layer, so not on your original sketch layer. Exactly. Cool. Yeah, just because I, I like to feel the I, I like the safety zone that is a layer. Mm -hmm. Oh, and me too. It's totally a safety net. Yep, yep. And you can just delete it if you don't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And just uh -huh. I'm just trying to find it. <laughs> we were talking about this earlier. Oh Kyle. Jesus! Kyle has so many beautiful, wonderful brushes. He really does. You know what? I'm just gonna little... stay with this. I'm just gonna with this one okay. for now. Cool. That works. It's a good one. They're all good. Yeah. Danielle says that she bought all of the Creative Cloud apps today. Thanks, Danielle. Oh, Which that's ones? awesome. Yeah, are you going to use a specific one? Hope that you uh, participate in the challenge now that you have all the apps. And Hypno Agent wants to know what's your favorite brush to use for sketching? I really love Kyle's brushes. Um, the gouache brush, the Mary Blair. That's, yeah. what I, that's, what, that's the one I was trying to find. Mm -hmm. But we have so many. You have time. It's okay. You can find it. Lost. <laughs> so all of the gouache brushes, the whole pack, is awesome. I know. Get out of their concept. We don't need you right now. I am so glad that old Kyle brushes are in Photoshop right now mm -hmm. because he is the best. They're great at making. Oh, I I was already here. Oh, uh -huh. look at that. Nice. Cool. Yeah. So the the Blair so, named yeah. after Mary Blair. Named after Blair, Mary Blair. Mm -hmm. It's just it just feels like pen. Yeah. I mean. Not pen, sorry, pencil. Oh, interesting. I like that. And it's so nicely textured, especially when you move quickly. Like the velocity is pretty realistic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that Adobe Stock in Photoshop? So you can search stock in Photoshop, Julia. Mm -hmm. um, if you, I think it's in your libraries panel, potentially. But I believe that's just another document that Lissy has yes. opened with some inspiration. Yes, that's, that's right. And we have them kind of tiled next I, to each other. Yeah, I create, oh, sorry, I use window, mm -hmm. arrange, and then I just put it vertical. Yep. It's just so much easier to see reference when you're working. Yeah, yeah, I love that. You can work on so many different things. Keep yeah. moving. Awesome. Um, it, it's also very helpful to have reference next to you when you work. Mm -hmm. um, mostly because, I was like I was, I was mentioning before, you may think, that you know what something looks like, and then when you're drawing and I'm, you're like making it up. <laughs> yeah, totally. And there's there's some beauty in that making it your own, but yeah, there's also some nice uh, merits to having some sort of structure to what you're drawing. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you're cleaning up your original sketch mm -hmm. with some nice lines, some good movement. Just to understand. I might not clean the whole thing because mm -hmm. the sketch was already so clear. Yeah, yeah, it is. But for instance, this area over here, it feels like I still need to figure it out. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm going back in. I'm like, oh, okay, well, maybe it just comes, I guess flowers come out of her ear. But <laughs> <laughs> I wish, don't we all? <laughs> that's awesome. And if you have any specific illustration questions mm -hmm. or inspiration questions for Lissy, please feel free to ask. We are here until 12. Yeah. Um, a lot of time to answer good questions, chat with you all. I'm excited to hear if you in chat are going to be working on the challenge. 
alongside Lissy, like I said, the challenge is to create an illustration based off of Leonard's work, and Leonard was streaming before, and there's a little uh, example of his work in the challenge tab over here if you wanna check that out. Uh, lots of blues and pinks being used, lots of animals, very clean, but also textured. No, his horse is awesome. Yeah, I was like, what demon did you sell your soul to to learn how to draw a horse? <laughs> I've, I don't understand. <laughs> They're so hard to draw. Great. That was great. Do you, like, what animal do you think is the most difficult to draw? A horse. <laughs> to horses. Yeah. Absolutely. And I have a hard time drawing dogs, too. Really? Just their faces. Because I'm like, what is your face even? You know, it's like a triangle. I can see what you mean. Mm -hmm. it's I can a see little what you horse. Mean. Now that I think about it, it's true. Every time I draw a horse, I'm a horse. <laughs> a horse dog. A dog. Mm hmm. I forget about the face. I just put like smile, like little tiny dove. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. I'm a dog. Yep. yep. <laughs> I mean that works too. It totally works. <laughs> Alberto says Komodo dragons are hard to draw. Humans are hard to draw. Yes. Yeah. Humans, humans are, are hard, hard to draw. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is that. That's very real. Yeah. But luckily, that's the thing I draw the most. Like that's the thing I like to draw. Yeah. So I feel like, even though they're hard, I like the challenge. Uh, Tony wants to know what stylus are you using. Just the Wacom pen. Mm. Yep. Yeah, just a little walk with the normal, mm -hmm. the one that comes with the Cintiq. Yep. Yeah, super nice. Yep, totally. It is a Cintiq 22 HD. It's beautiful, awesome, awesome tool. And you can see in the top right corner actually how Lissy's hand is moving around, which is super cool. Over the shoulder shot. Oh, nice. OTS. That's fancy. Mm hmm. <laughs> Love it. And you can really see. Um, what position she's in, or if she's using the eraser, what have you. You know, I never used eraser. Me, neither. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> don't, don't try today. <laughs> Bad day time. to try. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, no problem, Tony. Um, Anna, or Anna says, feet are hard animals to draw. Yeah, those feet animals. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> feet are hard. Hands are pretty difficult, too. Although, Anna, your icon is a hand, so I feel like you're probably pretty comfortable drawing those. <laughs> And chat, let us know if this is your first time tuning in to Adobe Live. I see so many familiar faces. We've got Andre, another awesome artist, Jason, Anna, uh, Tom's hanging out, Tima. So let us know, is this your first time? Do you usually lurk in the background? Totally cool to lurk, don't need to chat with us, but if you wanna say hey. Yeah, it was nice. We'll say hey back. Before, before the live stream, I kinda watched a few previous live streams and yeah. it was pretty nice to have them while working the back in, in totally. my Totally, yes. Yeah, I think a lot of people have this on like a second monitor or even minimized. Yeah. Just listening to it. It's uh, pretty inspiring. Ooh, Dr. Jekyll, that is a great question. Mm. Uh, they're wondering if there was a special moment in your life when you realized that you wanted to become a professional illustrator. Well, it was, I don't remember how old I was, but mm -hmm. it was a very young kid. And my parents were called into the classroom because I was not paying attention in school because I was only drawing. You're like, get out of my way. I was, <laughs> I was like maybe eight. Okay. And I have a vivid, very vivid memory mm -hmm. of that happening. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I don't need school. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind but, of school. <laughs> yes, yes. But. I feel like that's when it happened. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just couldn't put my sketchbook down and that was it. Yeah. It was just match made in heaven. Mm -hmm. I was the same way. I remember my hand hurting so badly and like having mm -hmm. huge calluses and blisters just because I yep. it was always like hours yep. a day. Yep. I, I have the same. I have a, I used to have this weird bump over here mm -hmm. and it was just for holding the pen. Yeah, I had one right here. I still kind of yeah. do. Oh, you still can do? Yeah. Oh, look <laughs> really? at that, I still. <laughs> yeah, it's it's our scars, our battle wounds. <laughs> yep. More than we pride. Mm -hmm. Oh, Joseph says that he is working with polymer clay from a drawing. Cool, you're sculpting. That's awesome. I love I started that. playing with polymer clay. It's the yeah. best thing ever. What are you making? Well, I just make little tiny jewelry. I make pins for myself. So cute. But I see people making like cakes, like tiny cakes you can wear. Jesus. Tiny cakes? What? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's amazing. Those cute little things. 
Ooh, Jamie, that's a great question. And I was kind of touching on this earlier um, about how realistic your, I guess your color palettes are, but that also comes down to lighting. Mm. Um, so how do you achieve realistic lighting in your illustrations? By using references mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. um, how can I say, like color comes naturally often. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And more often than not, than not, I can just play by memory. Yeah. But if I'm working, for instance, today I have a very specific theme in a very specific mood I want to achieve. Right. And sometimes when I don't, when I have that and I don't use reference, I get lost yes. in the sketch and I never finish it. Yeah. And I feel like having these to my left always reminds me where I want to go. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah, just have a reference, at least in color palette, uh, just, just for color palette at least. Yeah. Um, sometimes I have reference for anatomy, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I feel like, yeah, I always having that safety, so safety net yeah. for this reference. Yes, totally. You can take your own reference for lighting specifically. That too. Just moving a lamp around, a form, even if it's like you're drawing um, an animal, but you just have maybe a ball yeah. You can still light it in a certain way that you know kind of how the light is cast. Another artist that's really great to look at for lighting is Jenny Yu. Uh, she's amazing. And her work is super photographically representational, like the lighting, yeah. even though the style is pretty cute. Well, I don't know her. Yeah, she's awesome. She's been on Adobe Live. What's up, Jenny? I know you're watching. <laughs> Just kidding, she's not. <laughs> but she's cool. <laughs> so check her out too. I think that was Mitchell who asked that question. Oh, thanks, Adobe Live. Appreciate it. What's up, Paula? Thanks for hanging out. Kaylee, Olivier. Hello, hello. Um, I was going to ask you a question. I yeah, let's go. Oh, before we started, you said you were a little nervous. This is your first yeah. live experience. How do you feel so far? Still a little scary. Just a little bit. But it's very fun. Yeah. It's very fun not being here by myself. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. It's my job to just be like, a parrot on your shoulder and talk to you. <laughs> this is pretty helpful. It's a good job. <laughs> Man. Uh, that animal in the forest had like a glow, looked so cool. Are you talking about Ginny's work, Jimmy? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. In chat, if you see it below me, the timer has turned red, which means that you have just a little bit of time left before we do our chat and win. If you are new to the live streams, then you're in for a treat because we like to give you stuff doing these live streams just as a thank you for hanging out. That is so awesome. Yeah, yes. and we often partner with really awesome companies to provide our uh, chat and win prizes. So today we are giving away an awesome notebook from Moo.com. Moo is an amazing way to print out all of your business collateral needs and make it super beautiful and high quality. GoPro to show it. Thanks, Paco. Ooh. I'm notoriously not the best GoPro operator, so. This is it, this is it. I'll do an unboxing. <laughs> Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> is that how you do it? Uh, this is the notebook. And one of the most important features is that it has lay flat technology. What? It's open and I'm not holding it? <laughs> what? Uh, what? Huh, what? <laughs> so chat, we're gonna be giving away one of these awesome notebooks in just a couple minutes. I'm not sure what color you'll get. I think that might be up to you. Who knows? Ooh la la, I know. <laughs> but yeah, go check out Moo too if you maybe need business cards or tote bags printed or whatever. And now they're, Moo is amazing. Yeah, have you ever used them or have you yeah. seen their stuff? No, I use them all the time. Nice. Super awesome. One, uh, someone in a previous stream was saying a good way to print out like clothing hang tags is yeah. to just order business cards from Moo and just <gasps> punch a little hole in it. What? You have like a super fancy hang tag. Oh my God. It's awesome. I didn't think <laughs> about that. Yeah, it's awesome. So you could do it, all kinds of things with Moo. Check it out and we'll be giving it away in about a minute and a half. So make sure you are logged in on Behance because that is how you're going to be able to participate. Yeah, Kendra, Moo has so much stuff now. I agree, when I first started using them, I don't think they had like the fabric goods. So I think this sketch is pretty done. Beautiful. So you kind of solved 
the flower that was near her, her ear. You kind of yeah. figured it out. What am I doing? All right. All right, what's your thought process here? So now that, I, now that I sort of figured it out, I'm going to turn the, the red sketch oh. into gray. Interesting, okay. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. Ooh. Cool. I've never seen this uh, workflow. I'm excited. I kind of blend them together. Okay, so we erase the I erase, overlap. I erase the parts that are that get confusing when I put both together. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I blend them or not. What did I do? Are you trying to merge them? Yes. How do we merge things? You'll hold shift and click and yep. Yeah, and then click the other one. This? What? Well, just hold shift and then tap the other. What? Is that new? No. <laughs> what? Wait, what's going on? <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna do it manually. Okay. Or not? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> You know what? It's just gonna stay like that. We can work. I can help you. That's just, you know. Just, <laughs> it that's can <can't> work. <laughs> we can group them, and it's pretty much like merging. Yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. Look at that. I planned Ooh, that all along. Perfect timing. Now yeah. we're gonna be doing our giveaway. Oh, cool. <laughs> awesome. So chat, make sure you are logged in on Behance, and we're gonna ask you a little question. We can ask them anything. It could be about what they do for a living, their favorite animal. What should we ask them? Hmm. <sighs> Where are you from? Where are you from? Let us know. We'll be back in a minute. Chatting win. All right, where's everyone watching from? We got Germany. We got Brazil. Hello. Nice. Hey, we got Arizona, uh, Chile. Utah, damn, it's going so fast. I saw Oakland, Texas, Missouri, <laughs> uh, NorCal. Where in NorCal? Where in NorCal? Uh, Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Hey, wait, awesome. who's from Dominican Republic? Yeah. Maybe when the chat slows down a little bit, you can. Does this help? <laughs> you can re-tell uh, us that you're from there. Uh, oh my gosh, another person from Germany. Super cool. So all of these people who are entering. Have the chance to win the free large notebook from Moo, and a name will be appearing above us in just a moment. Ooh. This is the magic of Adobe. Prepare yourself. I really love those fireworks. I know. I don't think they're making any noise. No, Ooh. there aren't. Ooh, we got a winner. Our current winner is Pauline Rewa. Wow. Golf clap. Congrats. <laughs> uh, Adobe Live will be in contact with you via your Behance messages. So. Keep an eye out, Pauline, and thank you everyone for submitting to the giveaway. Really appreciate it. And just as a thank you for submitting, you can do moo.com slash Adobe Live for a discount on your order and browse the limited edition holiday products. Ooh, I didn't know. That's a new thing. That's awesome. Woo, woo, woo. Cool. So everyone, check it out. All right, back to the work. Cool. So, let's see. So now that I have the sketch, I'll just start blocking shapes, Ooh. essentially. All right. Although, now that I have, hold on. I'm actually gonna do it a little different this time. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do a small color composition before I block out shapes, just Fun. because I kinda need to know what I'm going to do color-wise. Yeah, so you're not figuring it out at the last step. Right. Mm -hmm. Every time I do that, I always get lost. Me too. And Man. that's why I always have like millions of illustrations that I never finish. <laughs> yeah. Because I just didn't plan it right. Man, those are the ones that end up on Tumblr or like your Instagram <laughs> stories. Yep. Like, look at this. Okay, it's gone. Don't look too close. Yep. <laughs> so I'm just doing a little frame since I hope to sort of print this. Uh huh. I'm just going to give it 
a little bit of a mm, just making it a little bit bigger oops a hundred inches <laughs> or not hold on why didn't you let me put dots oh interesting it doesn't let me put dots commas all right <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't become super big. We shall see. I feel nope. like the computer's giving you a run for your money today. I know! I'm just gonna pretend. Cool. That Whatever, works. doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like, it knows I'm here. Yeah. Oh, we, they, they know we're live, so <laughs> we have to mess up. It's a test. So you're making a little frame. Yeah, just so just like I have some extra room mm -hmm. when I print and like when I place a little it bit because, of bleed, nice. Right, a little bleed. That's what it's called. I keep forgetting words. <laughs> it's alright. Me too. Um, so what I do is I duplicate. Mm hmm And I bring it extra small. Whoa. Sometimes brushes kind of lag when you work really fast. Yeah. And that's kind of my workaround around it. Okay. When it's very small, Photoshop or your computer sort of is able to handle it better. Yeah, definitely. Let's see, can I use that one? All right, whatever you want. Oh, nice. Such a great brush for just blocking in colors. Yeah. Actually, this is the first time I use it. And that is the Gouache Magic 2017. We need an update, Kyle. It's almost 2019. I know. <laughs> I wonder if I'll meet Kyle I'm here. Yeah, I was just saying, I thought I saw Kyle in the cafeteria. Kyle, can we summon you? Kyle, Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, like Beetlejuice? I would. Sometimes it works. Seriously? <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> what? Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. He's shown up when we were talking about his brushes before, and I think he's, he's listening. Or he has a minion listening for him. Little, his brushes are just listening. Always. They are amazing. <laughs> Why can't I pick colors from my side? You are really something today, Photoshop, huh? <laughs> it's like, well, I am in Adobe. I've got to show up for you, show off for you. <laughs> brushes don't expire, do they? Don't think so, Tim. I don't think so. <laughs> so it looks like you are grabbing actual colors from your inspiration. Yeah. Cool. Sometimes they don't work. Mm-hmm. So I just make it up. Hold on. Yeah, this brush seems to have a little bit of like opacity mm. built into it. I wonder if, oh, that's better. Nice. Big old brush. So you laid down something cool first and then you are adding a little bit of coolness back into the warmth. Yeah, I feel like Cool versus warm. Like you mentioned that you always use that. Mm -hmm. um, just a very intuitive way of creating lighting that is yeah. realistic. True, and it adds a nice contrast. And it has a nice contrast. Yeah, it's like automatically built in. This is warm, this is cool. A little bit of friction. In chat, I'm looking at the submission gallery. Since you are, we're hoping that you're working Ooh. alongside uh, Lissy, while she works on her illustration, you can also be working on one as well. And I want to encourage you that it doesn't have to be finished, um, that we just want to see your work, your style, what you got cooking up in your noggin, what are your ideas. Uh, a lot of these illustrations are pretty silly and fun, so don't be scared to submit. You've got 22 minutes, you can see the timer over here, Salt Bay, uh, to get those submitted. So make sure you do it. You could possibly win something. <laughs> I think I know what it is. Is it? Maybe someone can let us know in chat what the, win the thing is. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Noelle wants to know how are you quickly changing the angle of your brush? I think it's the tilt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I never tamper with this stuff. I think it's just built into the same, into the brush yep. itself. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, super nice, intuitive. Yeah. 
You just moves with your hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if, if you can't see her hand, it's just literally how you're holding it against the screen. Yeah. yeah. There you go, over there the shoulder go. shot. Yeah. Um, and you can change the tilt settings in the brush settings. So even if it's already a pre-made brush, like one of Kyle's brushes, you can still jump into those settings, get really drilled down, get nitty gritty with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you can turn it off and not have any tilt at all. Yeah, if you do need more time to work, you can share that bad boy illustration in either of the next two streams. And then there will be one uh, ultimate winner of the day. And Adobe Live, can you remind me? Everyone will have their work featured on Adobe Live and get reviewed, which is amazing. But Adobe Live, Adobe Live, <laughs> he's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> What's the <laughs> prize for winning today? <laughs> okay, I just wanted to make sure. It's a free year of Creative Cloud. <laughs> Sometimes we like to switch it up a little bit and it's not that. <laughs> Damn, a year. Yeah, a whole year. That is amazing. To really, like there's no excuse not to submit your work because one, there aren't a whole ton of submissions so you have a pretty good chance of winning. And two, you will have your work reviewed by a professional illustrator, which I think is even more valuable, honestly. <laughs> That's how you get better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you like critique? Do you seek it out? Um, I seek it out for myself. Mm -hmm. um, some friends really like sending their work to my uh, towards me as well, mm -hmm. and I love giving them reviews. Mm -hmm. But I've come to realize that I am pretty terrible at it. <laughs> Are you? Why do you think that? Um, I stumble up on my words a lot. Oh, and that's okay. Yeah, that doesn't mean I'll, you're I'll bad. I'll try my best today, okay. but. Cool, we can do it together. Yes, thank It'll you. It'll be a tag mm -hmm. team, totally. No, I think you have good ideas, though. You'd be able to give some great feedback. Yeah, Cedric, you, you can do a lot with a year of Creative Cloud. What can you make in a year? A lot of things. A lot of stuff. A whole lot. Some would say hundreds of illustrations, maybe thousands. Maybe thousands. <laughs> You know, it is possible to do the thousands. Mm -hmm. Totes. I love giving feedback on work. I think it's super fun. Yeah. And I also don't mind getting it. It's never really been hard for me to like receive yeah. feedback because I, I know at the end of the day, it's still my decision on whether I implement it or not. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I really, really, really do love, fe love feedback for mm -hmm. myself. It just makes me improve so much faster. Yeah. And, um, Sometimes some other person can see something I'm not seeing at all. Uh-huh, <laughs> totally. And it's just so valuable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I almost think that going to art school and getting so much constant feedback made mm -hmm. me sometimes not trust my own eye yeah. enough. Like Absolutely. I saw how many things people could point out that I had never even considered. So mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know everything. Yeah. That's okay. I feel the same way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So did you go to art school or did you study? I did. Cool. I did. I went to art school for three years. I actually ended up dropping out. Mm. Not saying that you should drop out. That's your story. It just, it just worked out for me. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like art school was kind of the best. I feel like it really set me on my way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like I would not be here without art school. At least without the tough. teachers I had. I feel like yeah. art school is not the thing you want. It's the experience of like meeting somebody else yep. that will influence you mm -hmm. for the rest of the life. Yeah. And my teachers over there were just the perfect, the perfect thing that could ever happen to me. Oh, that's awesome. Was it in the States that you went to school? Mm -hmm. I awesome. went to the University of the Arts in Philadelphia. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense that you're in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I totally agree. It's just being in a building with other art students and teachers isn't what's going to. Yeah make you a better artist. It's the what you put into it, yeah. what you seek out, because you're paying money for that stuff, so you better do your best. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, make the most of your time, because once you get out, it's different. Ooh, I like that. Very warm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I often like to work in a very limited color palette, mm -hmm. because then I don't get lost. But it seems like you are just going all out. You're not scared. 
of going full spectrum. It just makes it more fun. It, yeah, <laughs> totally. It's just, it's just so much fun. I feel mm -hmm. like Color and I, like I was saying, um, before the live stream, we, we received a package saying, oh, try not to wear green because of the green screen. So yeah. Try to wear muted colors. Mm -hmm. And I realized all of my colors are so vibrant. Yeah. I couldn't wear them. <laughs> and if it's not, I don't know, I feel like Color and I go together so yeah. well. I just cannot live without color, honestly. Aww. Yeah, it seems very innate. You have a good understanding of it automatically. I get lost in the color because I also have to contend with value as well. Mm -hmm. So I like have to knock out the value and then yeah. play with color if I want it to make sense, which my art doesn't really make sense, so it's okay. <laughs> Don't have to worry about it. You know, art, art doesn't need to make sense all the time. No, especially not mine. <laughs> Zilladelphia. That's a good name for Philadelphia, I like that. <laughs> uh, if you wanna use a color you use already, you can just sample it, totally true, Noel. Yeah. You can do that. By the way, is it Noel or Noel? Let me know. I'd love to pronounce your name correctly. What's up, Anne? Lemonade, how you doing? Good to have you. Someone asked a while ago mm. um, if there's ever been a time in your creative journey that you've felt very discouraged. Mm -hmm. And what caused that and how did you get over it? So I'm actually coming out of a period of my life that is just specifically that. Wow. Um, and the way I got out of it mm -hmm. was by literally not drawing for a while. I, That's okay. And that is okay. Well, the thing is that we artists think that we need to be drawing all the time. And yes, sure. Practice makes perfect, mm -hmm. but if you burn yourself out, then there's nobody else there that can make the art that you can do. Oh, yeah. And if you're burned out, you're not gonna enjoy the work you do mm -hmm. either. So, yeah. I did something crazy. I actually I actually was living in, in the Bay before. Oh. And what I did was just go back to Philadelphia with my parents, mm -hmm. with my family. I'm living with my family at the moment. And just, taking like three months off. Wow. I just not, did not draw anything for like three months. And yeah, that was exactly what I needed and I just yeah. took a break. Cool, and you so. feel like you're... I feel like journey. myself again, finally. Cool. <laughs> cool, so what was that first drawing like when you... It was like, oh my God, yes. <laughs> like, had been I holding remember. your breath. Yeah. <laughs> I remember yeah. what I like. Mm -hmm. And totally. it's just, it's just so much better. Just. Try not to burn yourself. Yeah. I know work is important, and I know paying bills is important. And not everybody is able to just take three months off, but yeah. really, just take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah, take care of your skill and, and your passion, Yeah, because that's what makes it all worth it. I honestly have dealt with that a lot too. Yeah. Especially after being in art school and graduating, I was kind of just like, I don't really want to make art anymore. Yeah. Like, this has been really tiring and tough. Yeah. Um, so I found a lot of value in having my work not just be literally drawing all the time. Yeah. Like there's a lot of educational content and design that I that I do that kind of, when I do get to draw, it feels like a really special thing. Yes. And I feel comfortable I there. I'm like, this is, I know this, I can do this. I feel like that's very, that's very smart too. Also, it's getting working. hobbies and getting out there, yeah. just studying. Mm -hmm. I've been interested in going into dressmaking lessons. Cool. Just to get out there, do something creative that is not drawing all the time. That's so exciting. Are you like a? Do you know how to sew? Has no, that not always yet. Been a thing? Okay. <laughs> it's it's gonna happen in the spring, but okay. Wow. Just doing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Totally. Just yeah. have a creative outlet that is just not just only the work you do. Yep. Agreed, agreed. Uh, I used to I used to say, oh, I work full time as an illustrator and my hobby is painting. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing, you're just yeah. killing yourself. Yeah, I just work all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's so not good. Uh, Anita says, I always seem to draw really well after I've had a long break. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I draw I well, but I think I'm more excited about drawing then. I agree. Like I can feel that my drawing muscles have like, gotten more lax. I'm like, oh, I forget how to draw. <laughs> but it feels good. 
yeah it's exciting what's up adriana <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us we have adriana lima supermodel in the chat nice <laughs> oh nice <laughs> uh, we've got scott saying i find changing up not only the medium but also the format helps yeah really just putting yourself in a different place so someone was saying that they are sculpting that's a totally great Facts. thing to try i know that's why mm. I got into clay. Yeah. It's just the best thing. And you get to work actually like with your hands. It's a physical trade or a skill. Yeah. Very cool. What's up, Alicia? Thanks for hanging back. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> uh, it also feels good to be back here in chat after a two week break. Yeah, welcome back, Tim. Wait, you were on a break? Oh yeah. Adobe Live did go on a little <laughs> Thanksgiving break. <laughs> I forgot because I was on vacation. <laughs> What's up, Melinda? Thanks for hanging out with us. I'm gonna check our gallery, see if we have any more submissions. Nope, still only have one. By the time the submission deadline hits, I wanna have at least five. And we have one. <laughs> you have 10 minutes. I know you've been working on your sketches. Even if you haven't been, you can download Photoshop Sketch, Illustrator Draw for free on your phone. Mm -hmm. Do a drawing, make some sort of abstract art or something for us, submit it. Let's see what you got. Oh, Terrence hasn't been on Adobe Live since Max. We missed you, Terrence. That was a while ago. That was like a month ago. Even more. Esther says, your colors look amazing. Thank you. I agree, they do. And I like how you have the, the darker values and also the darker subject matter at the bottom. So like the dead. Yeah. Flora. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I got the symbology. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, Tim, you are officially a host. Tim hosted our German live streams, one of them. Tim, how did you like it? How did you like being in front of the camera? Do you have a renewed respect for me? Or are you like, no, it's super easy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sierra was also at Max. Cool, Sierra. Did you come over to the Adobe Live booth? Have you ever been to Max? I have not. It's very fun. I would love to go. Next October, or November? October. It's a great creativity conference. Uh, check it out, people in chat, if you don't know what it's about. Adobe puts on a big old uh, shebang with lots of awesome speakers, awesome classes. Oh, Adobe Live was I'm streaming there. I'm jealous of you guys. It was very fun. I'm jealous. <laughs> Sierra watched from Alaska. Whoa. Cool, Sierra. That's not bad. Oh, Tim, when you were hosting, you low-key freaked out. You're not used to being in front of a lens. <laughs> Gotta freak out on the inside. Keep it all on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's accurate. Oh, Terrence, you came by the booth, but you missed me. Darn it, Terrence. Next time. Brittany, England, says, Lissy, you rock. <gasps> Brittany! <laughs> She, I used to work with her. Awesome. Check out her work, she's awesome. Cool. Brittany, do you have any work on Behance? Or let us know where we can follow you on Instagram. That's awesome. A fellow illustrator? Mm-hmm. Let's get more. Who else in chat is an illustrator? Let's get some hype going, illustration hype. Or if you do something else creative, also let us know, because that is cool too. a dark hair color. This is always a difficult choice. I know, because you want the contrast. Mm -hmm. Because everything is too clear right now. Mm -hmm. It's not too clear, too bright. Yeah, and it feels like at least her form and a lot of the flowers are kind of like a mid-tone value. Yeah. So it's like either the hair has to be really bright or really dark. Right. What should it be? Ooh, Lynn is an illustrator and graphic artist. Mark is trying to be an illustrator. Denise wants mm -hmm. to be an illustrator. Uh, Tommy's an illustrator. Juwan is an illustrator. A lot of illustrators, yay. Love it. Dana, illustration, hand lettering, and branding. Damn. Cool. Melinda just finished book illustrations for publication. Awesome. Do, do, do. Um, Aurelia says, I have a problem picking one thing to do, so I say I do graphic design and illustration. Awesome. What else do you do besides that? Yeah, is that kind of all-encompassing? 
uh, Joseph says Photoshop and polymer clay. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Noel says, I do illustration, but I wouldn't consider myself an illustrator. I'm a graphic designer. Interesting. I feel like you are like a tried and true illustrator. Like you are straight up an mm -hmm. illustrator. Yeah. I tried being an animator once. Did not go well. <laughs> One time. <laughs> did not go well. Oh. It really didn't. So what do you mean you tried to be an animator? I tried taking a class. I dropped out immediately. I had a similar experience with animation, but it was 3D animation. I said, no thank you, Pixar. 3D. You know, I'm actually very interested in learning. So no, maybe no animation, maybe just rendering. Mm -hmm. Like ZBrush? But, yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I love, like, um, 2D animation. Like I know. Frame by frame. So fun. I wish. I wish it became more popular again. It's just the best kind. Mm -hmm. Now you just gotta make GIFs or GIFs. That's like the new animator. I know. Just gotta make memes for the internet. <laughs> uh, Cedric is also an illustrator and animator. Can confirm, you are. What's up, Rodrigo? Big hug from Brazil. Brazil! Super cool. Alberto, my, oh sorry, go ahead. No, sorry, my, my sister spent a semester in Brazil. She loved it. Yeah? I, I'm dying to visit. Ooh, sounds awesome. Truly does. I love that deep but very saturated blue that you're using. Thank you. Good choice. Mm -hmm. What's up, Leonard? Uh, chat, if you don't know, Leonard sold his soul to a demon to be able to draw horses, and he was also <laughs> <laughs> the guest. <laughs> you hit your head on the Cintiq. <laughs> <laughs> but he was also the guest uh, before Lissy, and Leonard is awesome. So make sure you watch the replay uh, after we're done streaming, of course. Yeah. And check out his work. You can click on his little face and go to his Behance portfolio. <laughs> Yay, so I'm going to check our, our submission. Oh, now we have two submissions. Yes. Yes. Cool. We need three more. We need three more in the next four minutes to hit my quota, my self-imposed quota for you all. <laughs> What's up, Val? Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here. Yeah, the final deadline is 2.30 uh, Pacific time, so you have some time. But if you feel like submitting and getting feedback from Lissy and myself, we got to get three more in the next three and a half minutes. Yes. Oh, go do it, do it. Do, 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 do. We won't pressure you, but it would be awesome. Ooh, that nice vertical texture in her hair is cool too. What? So this is just a color comp. Yes. <laughs> Feels pretty detailed. The thing is that the, the drawing is detailed already as it is. Mm -hmm. And if I don't do a color comp, I'm going to stay in color loophole forever. Okay, true. Loophole? Yeah, sure. Uh, limbo. Limbo, thank <laughs> you, that's the word. Yeah. <laughs> um, once I figure out the color, and I block out the shapes, it will go very smoothly after this. Mm, it's true. Yeah, you're kind of setting yourself up for success and um, execution in the future. Yeah. Pauline, is this like listening to NPR? Do you really think so? Hi, I'm Kathleen Illustrated. <laughs> Welcome to Adobe Live. Is that how people on NPR talk? Like very flat and like yes. they know everything? Yep, yep. I love it. It's fun. I'm Ira Glass. And this is, I don't know what he says, <laughs> This American Life. <laughs> um, Tom is wondering, Lissy, do you have your eyedropper tool set to current layer or all layers? All layers. All layers. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, unless you're specifically, you know, trying to not do that. <laughs> this is all Adobe considered. Yes, there you go, Andrea. Love it. Andrea, Andrea, yeah. this is the show where Kathleen asks everyone how to pronounce their name. <laughs> I just feel like it'd be annoying if someone constantly said your name the wrong way. Oh, I'm used to it. <laughs> That's why I asked you before we started. I'm like, how I, do you pronounce your name? I really don't name? mind. I <laughs> really don't mind. Like, it's Lucy either way. It's lazy either way. <laughs> just kidding. It didn't sound like lazy. <laughs> oh, no, I know. Lazy I'm fish. Just, I'm just trolling you. We have a troll, everyone. <laughs> the troll is inside. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 
Usually the troll is in the chat. Actually, usually it's not. We don't usually have trolls until they What's infiltrate this? our studio. How dare you? How'd you get in here? <laughs> Who let you in here? <laughs> uh, what's up, Victor? Another person from Brazil. Nice. Hello, hello. So I think I'm just gonna block, block. I think I'm almost done. I just need to block the shapes from here because it's a little messy. Yep, cool. But after this, I guess tomorrow will be about blocking shapes. Shapes? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, words. No, it makes sense, makes sense. Hmm. Cool, and that'll be also kind of cleaning, mm -hmm. tightening things, cleaning up. Yeah. Does your final work have line in it? Usually, sometimes. Sometimes. I, I like kind of working on a blend of both. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I see that. You have line where it makes sense. Mm. And a lot of your lines are colored. Yeah. Which is cool. I love this little lady. Thank you. That's actually the illustration I made. The first decision I made, the one you asked. Oh, okay. Does it? Gotcha. So, like, you can see, there's no line like in the in the rendering, but there's a little bit in the steps and in the details. So cool. The troll is coming from inside the house. <laughs> yeah, go, <laughs> you got it. Oh man, that's funny. So, chat. The deadline has hit for submitting your work for the challenge today. I'm gonna check and see if we have five. We have three. That no. works. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't even expecting that. So <laughs> I'm very proud of you all. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you guys talking about Harry Potter? I thought you were to know. Do you remember? Have you seen Harry Potter? I have. The first movie when Professor Quirrell runs into the hall and he's like, I thought you were to know, faint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sticks in my head to this day. It's amazing. Uh, so, chat, we're going to look at these submissions in just a minute. I want to let Lissy get to a point where you feel like, you good? I think so, yeah. She's like, what? I'm done. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so chat, we're going to look at these submissions uh, for this stream. We have three, so we might be able to take a little bit of time, give some good feedback. Um, the challenge was to create an illustration based off of Leonard's work. So actually, super duper quick, I'm going to go to the challenge. You can see this is an example of Leonard's work. Very simple, but beautifully um, rendered. Lots of texture going on there. I'll even click on the link. So this, flat colors, highly designed, That's I would awesome. say. Yeah, so make sure you go give Leonard a follow on Inst <laughs> Instagram, that too. <laughs> but you can see I'm following him. You're welcome. Over to our submission from Boya Sun. I think, I think you pretty much nailed his look. This, I, I want to be this little person. <laughs> okay, wait, which one are you? <laughs> I think one. I'm this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm too cool. <laughs> but this is cool. It totally nailed the style. And the texture as well. Wow. Hmm. What do you think about the composition? The way things move throughout the frame? I think that's very smart. I think it's very smart how you made it diagonal. diagonal. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's very smart how you made all the shapes of the little guys in white mm -hmm. and kind of hogged by this gigantic blue cat. Yes. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. I noticed that there's a lot of like breaking um, the edges of things. So like there are these little shapes that break into the cat. And then here, like these little elbows kind of break out of this larger, darker blue shape. Yeah. So there's a lot of thought about just design and how things are flowing together and um, I don't notice too many really tangents either, like things I know, I, th I, actually, I actually think it's pretty solid. Yeah, me too. I totally do. I, I think that this face and like these little creatures are nice and textural and kind of sketchy, but they're still pretty tight. Like mm -hmm. they, it looks finished, although yeah. very textured. And I feel like maybe right here and right here, mm -hmm. it doesn't have that same level of like Tightness? Yeah, tightness. And I'm not sure it has to. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I, th I don't think that bothers me at yeah. all. Um, mm -hmm. i just been wondering if it would be a little better if the cat's features was, were a little more accentuated. But then, oh. just maybe maybe just the eyes, like maybe yeah. just the, the face. But at the same time, maybe that's intentional. I maybe. think it is, actually. 
Um, mm-hmm. Maybe just maybe just that's the way it is, mm-hmm. and I feel like yeah. If it were more um, prominent, I feel like it would be a distraction from the guys in the center. That's true. Yeah, there's a lot of contrast here. Yeah, yeah. I know that in Leonard's stream, he was saying that. Uh, based on like a Chinese folk tale that he knew when he was little yeah. about animals not having eyes and drawings. That's why he makes animals without eyes. So I don't what? know if you were inspired by that, but if you were, that's a good pull. That's a good detail. What? So great job, Boya. This is super cool. I think that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I like it. If it was on Instagram, I would give it a heart. All right, this is by Steven Blodgett. This is very whimsical, kind of spooky. I know. I feel like the the composition could be improved a little bit. Okay. Just How so? Since everything is very centered, that's true. It would be it would be nice to sort of, for instance, the circle around it. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know how to the circle. Okay. The circle. Yep. Oh, I guess it's mimicking this. Hmm. Then it would be maybe creating a different angle. Okay, I was gonna say it. I think yeah. the perspective is a little strange here. Yeah. Um, although that's hard to say because it is a very flat, right, drawing. So perspective might not matter, right. so much. Um, I love this. The nature of this line is very organic and kind of chaotic. Yeah, and I I feel like it's very smart to use this purple mm-hmm. to sort of draw your attention directly to the uh, to, to the thing that you're supposed yeah. to be looking at. Right, there's no purple anywhere else. It's right. Like, whew, right there. Um, cool, and I, I like this circular element being repeated, but I just feel like the crispness of this line and this mm-hmm. star isn't really anywhere else. Yeah. Like everything else is a little bit jagged. So I don't, does that bother you? No, not really. Cool. Not really. Doesn't bother Lissy, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. I feel like. No, I feel like it makes sense that these two are just following each mm-hmm. other. Mm-hmm. Cool. This is interesting. I'd almost like to see a little bit more white space. Yeah. Like, since this is such a graphic composition, right? Straight in the center, mm-hmm. maybe give it some more room to breathe. Yeah. Be its own thing. Nicely done. That was by Steven. Steven, are you in chat? Good job. Nice job. All right, uno mas, one more. This is by Camila uh, Paleco. This is a cool style. Look at that. Are they it aliens? Could be, it could be like a painting yes. in, a, in a very ch- uh, hip sort of mm-hmm. space. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've really ever seen anything like this before. I know, and I love the little dot takes the mm-hmm. dotted texture for the, for the shading. Yes. That's very smart. Yeah, there's some beautiful movement here as well. Um, does anything stand out to you that could be cleaned up so it could be even stronger? Maybe just a, just extending the mm. <laughs> this. I feel like that's just maybe that was a mistake. Yeah, but it was pretty good. Was yeah. it using Illustrator? You think Illustrator? I know. I'm trying to think. It looks like Illustrator. Camilla, let us know what you used to make this. I'm actually going to pop into, if I can. No, no, I don't think you can copy links. Dang it. I know. Watch, watch this, though. Watch this, though. Boom. Oh. I just want to see, like, if this is a style that they use often. Look at that. So even that is, like, a little bit, whoa. 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 That movement's pretty cool. That is awesome. Look at that. Is this the same person? Is it? Kamiapi. Mm. Nope. Oh, yeah, it is. Is it case sensitive then? Oh, it might be case sensitive. Behance, are you case sensitive? No. No. Look at that. Just try that. Okay, this doesn't exist. Okay. So cool. This seems like a new style for this person, at least from what they show. Okay. Uh, That's really good to do. Cool. I love this. Me too. Keep doing this. I just, I don't even know what to think about it. It feels very otherworldly. It really does. Mm Mm-hmm. Love, love, love. Cool. Nicely done. Lots of great movement there as well. And then we have one more. 
We had four. <laughs> this is from Gina Kim using some beautiful watercolor illustrations, pandering to her audience. It's clear that Lissy loves this. I love it so much. <laughs> oh, man. The selective line usage is really nice. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. What do you love most? The personality of the dog. Yeah. <laughs> He's living his best life. Having a great day. Oh. I'm also very huge fan of Cordy's, so okay. it's just just definitely playing it to the audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Paco, that does remind me of Up, totally. Oh. Man, an Up that won't break your heart. I know. But seriously, I think the use of like how this line breaks right here, how there's no line here, this yeah. little squiggle, it's really, although this is very childlike and cute, it's smart. I know. I can totally imagine a children's book on mm -hmm. this stuff. Yeah. Totally. So this was by Gina, I believe. Uh, Gina, if you're in chat, great job. Love it. Oh, uh, she has a corgi named Nemo. So is this Nemo? Oh! <laughs> is this Nemo's little adventure? I love it! <laughs> Very oh. cute. I hope I can meet Nemo sometime, someday. Yeah, it's like it happen. So anything that you think could make this even better? Hmm. Maybe creating a little, well, no, that's actually, weird. sorry, I'm just thinking in my, in my <laughs> like, own well, head. No, it's just like, it's perfect. <laughs> I'm having a conversation with myself in my mm -hmm. head, apparently. Um, maybe just defining a little bit more the balloons. You know how you used sort of line work on the dog, just slightly? Maybe a little bit of mm. line work on the balloons will define them a little better. Yeah. Because without, without having like lines def uh, kind of separating them from each other, makes it feel like a completely different style from the dog. That's true. It does feel different. Um, but other than that, I feel like I think it's lovely. Mm -hmm. I do kind of like how this is totally different because it makes it feel more like traditional. Collage. Yeah, like a collage. Like yeah. you either painted paper and cut it out or you just literally painted the balloons. I yeah. feel like maybe you don't need so many. Yeah, maybe. Like th This could be... Uh, more of a composition in itself mm -hmm. that maybe leads the eye down in some way or what have you. I think you, you may be right. That's really nice though. Great job. Uh, do you have the pack of brushes for download? Lemonade, if you have a CC subscription, you can get Kyle's brushes uh, included. But I believe that there might be a free Kyle brush pack, maybe for Inktober still available. If you mm. search Kyle Webster brushes Inktober 2018, you might yeah. be able to find a couple for free. Possibly. So great job, everyone. Thank you so much for submitting. Uh, if you're still working, make sure that you get them submitted by 2.30 Pacific time today. If you'd like to be considered to win a free year of Creative Cloud and have your work reviewed by awesome designers, we have about 15 minutes left. Really? We do, so you have time. Oh, geez. To continue. You thought you were done. Well, time flew by really fast. I told you it would, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> time flies when you're talking about corgis. I know. <laughs> yeah, no problem, Lemonade. Thanks, Mark, glad you like it. Do, 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 and Noel, the Kyle brushes should always be available. Um, and as for the Inktober ones, I'm not sure if they still exist because it was for October, but they're still there. Confirmed. Yeah, it's just a little pack. There's like five brushes, but it's a pretty well-rounded. There's like a texture brush, some line brushing, some yeah, um, painting. His, his brushes are amazing, so I absolutely recommend them. No excuse. If you can get them, do it. Yeah, also, I don't know if you knew this chat, but you can load the brush packs in a Photoshop sketch and use them on your iPad and your phone. What? It's, oh yeah. What? On the iPad Pro. You're kidding. It's the best. It's the best. Since when? It's been like that forever? No. Since a couple months ago. <laughs> All right. One of the most recent mm -hmm. updates for mm -hmm. Sketch. Now I know what I'm doing when I get home. Mm -hmm. Do you have an iPad Pro? I do. <gasps> do you like using it for illustration? I love it, but I miss Photoshop. So I'm very excited for the app that's coming next year. Mm-hmm. 2019, okay. baby. I can't wait. I, I really can't wait. Me neither. Maybe very I'll use excited. my iPad more often. Yeah. Totally. I love drawing on the iPad. I like it more than drawing on Photoshop these days. I know. It, it just really feels like a like you're drawing on a notepad. Or like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just so light. 
Yes, very intuitive. I still have trouble drawing on like a Intuos, like one that's flat on the table yeah. and then looking at a screen. So I really love just drawing on a screen or like with a Cintiq. Very nice. Yes, we will review more illustrations in Chris's stream, who will be up next with Christine. Christine's back there munching away. <laughs> Looks like she's eating a Brussels sprout. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh yeah. <laughs> Staying healthy back there. Mm -hmm. Love it. Ooh, cool. I like how you kept things still pretty lively, even though they were dead at the bottom. I am. I'm glad you think so. It's like it's not scary. It's still hopeful. I, I keep wondering if I should instead of this is she's supposed to have some sort of dress. Okay. Maybe I will make that work. Oh, I see. Hmm. Like you cannot see it because of the bouquet of flowers she has in her hands. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering if I should just not do that and just do flowers. Just flowers altogether. all the way down. Yeah. Yeah, that's, these are the decisions you have to make as an artist. Know. Like, she's wearing a dress. You know that because you designed the character, but like, will the audience tell? Exactly. Yeah. And if they can't tell, then she's pretty much not wearing a dress. <laughs> doesn't <laughs> exactly. exist in their mind. Mm. Yeah, this, <laughs> and this is why I always make a color comp before jumping into coloring because you cannot ask these sort of questions when you're halfway coloring. Yep. Yeah, then you have a lot of work ahead of you when you could have just solved the problem up front. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure what the new Photoshop on iPad, what kind of iPads it's gonna work on. I can't tell you that, not, I'm not versed in that info. But I would assume since a new iPad was just released and it showed Photoshop working on it. Yeah, I think. <laughs> probably work. <laughs> I know, I hope you can use it on the older generation too. Yeah, we shall see. We shall see. Just playing the cool. I feel like white was so prominent. So yeah. Like... I like this, and especially now that you can see it through her arms too. Like you can see the little the what? Oh, this thingy. Oh, this thingy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. even if that was white before, I didn't read it as a dress. I just read it as empty space. Yeah. So mm -hmm. maybe I just extend the greenish down. Oh, nice. So just blend everything together mm -hmm. a little bit. Because the dress is a, cute, it's a cool shape. It is. It has a lot of uh, great movement. <clears throat> Alicia, if you want to do the the two pieces of artwork next to each other, you go to window, and then I think it's two up vertically is what Lissy has it set as. So if you mm -hmm. have two yeah, open, these this guys mm -hmm. arrange. Like there this. you go, and you can arrange it really anyway. Yeah, yeah, you get a lot of options. I I was before coming here. I was using four. Mm -hmm. It's really nice when you have to edit different spreads at the same time. Yeah, and keep them all cohesive. Yeah. Oh, you can also use artboards in Photoshop. Totally true, Tim. Good call. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin's wondering about line quality. Um, how do you keep your lines so clean, I guess? Dynamic? Mm. You seem pretty sure of your lines. How can I put it? I, you know what? This is very hard to answer. Okay. Um, it's fair. How to keep it? Let me see. So first of all, I really like when lines are textured, but sharp. Yeah. And one way I work around it is by always working half the size extra, like I always make the illustration a little bigger. Yep, and then. Than what I need to, and then shrinking it. Right. Um, and to make it fluent, basically, I like working. So if the illustration is this big, for instance, instead of coming yep. super close, mm -hmm. I go back yep. and just 
do it from far. Yeah. Because you can just see how it plays out yeah. in the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. There's something that has to do with the speed. Right. And, um... Right, I cannot work slow. Right, because then you get... work. Ooh, it gets kind yeah. of squiggly and strange. And you, it feels very stiff. Yes. If you do it very slow. Yeah, I think you have good movement, not only in your wrist, but especially working with the Cintiq, you use more of your arm. Mm. And that yeah. keeps things, your lines, very nice. Very yeah. organic. But there also is a style of, you know, having that smaller scratchy line, but I think usually that's in, that should yeah. be intentional. I really wish I had that style. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty weird about that stuff. Like, for some reason, I cannot have squiggly line work. Yeah, you like have, I've tried before. <laughs> you're very painterly. You're kind of swashing stuff all over. Yeah. It's good. It's very good. Alex says, amazing job. I Thank agree. You. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So chat, we got about five minutes left. If you have any last minute questions for Lissy, yeah. please feel free to ask. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. Yeah. And then we've got Chris and Christine coming up after this, followed by Emma and myself finishing out the day. All awesome illustrators, artists, working in very different styles. So there's a, there's a good mix of stuff going on today. Uh, Chris has some cool, I don't know what you would call it, like band postery style. He's like, yeah, that works. <laughs> he'll, he'll show you, he'll show you. <laughs> and then Emma's work is very, uh, more desillustratory, more more design based. Very cool, very cool. Thanks, I feel like I'm pretty close to finishing this. Mm -hmm. I love the little sprigs coming out of her hair at the top. Those little green pieces. Thank you. It's nice, it's nice. Levi says, awesome progress. I agree. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was interested to see how far we would get today. Just not knowing your style or your workflow. This is good. I'm glad. I'm glad I got a, I got as far as I did. Mm -hmm. I was sort of worried because I do take. It will take a while. Yeah. And that makes sense. Got I, a lot of detail. I really like. I really really like taking my time. Mm -hmm. And again, most of this detail, hopefully, I don't compromise it because of time. Yeah. But if I do, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> But I think since you've put so much work in up front, yeah. um, even if things aren't super detailed, you're still gonna be able to read what it is. I think, I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. welcome. Ooh, this nice rim light, this nice warm yellow hitting her. So good. Yeah, I hope to have like droplets. Let's see if it works. <gasps> I, hopefully I can make things work. Yeah, cause she's praying for rain. Yeah. A little sun shower. It's beautiful. And maybe in the next four, three or four minutes, mm. uh, we could go over your work yeah. from start to finish, starting with just the concept and why you're even doing this and how did you get here today? Yes, of course. Okay, so. You started with a sketch. Right, so I started with this little sketch. And Actually, I started with. Yeah. <laughs> with this, Without, with the mouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I deleted the mouse. No mouse. Um, and what's this for? So this is just to think about the composition of the whole piece. Mm -hmm. um, trying to get a, my head around what exactly I want to draw. And the sketch, the, over, the, the overlay sketch is just to answer the questions that I didn't answer in my previous sketch. Oh, okay. Um, should I have more time, I would actually do another sketch. Yeah. I, I, I sketch a lot. That and, makes sense, yeah. And I would actually figure out a dress that I didn't figure out before, mm -hmm. and I, yeah, and I would just clean it up mm -hmm. and make it pretty. Yeah, you mm -hmm. really don't leave any stones unturned. I really do not. Yeah, that's good. that's really smart and <laughs> shows that you are not a lazy artist. <laughs> you take your time. And this is for, you're hoping to participate in a charity yeah. show. Exactly. Very cool. Um. And the color sketch is mostly because I don't want to, I don't know, I don't want to stay questioning myself mm -hmm. in the middle of coloring. Yeah. So I always do a color comp before I touch anything else. Mm. Um, 
I might actually work a little bit more on it yeah, clean tonight. It mm -hmm. um, so I'll, I'll let you guys know exactly cool. what I changed. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just it's, it's just a very, very good way to just be feeling prepared. Yeah. And it's a great way to also study color. Because a lot of people, how do I say? Um, I know there are a lot of people that struggle with color. And I think one way to sort of help yourself along the way is just to study color by doing color compositions and mm -hmm. the work you're doing. And yeah. learning from pictures or other artists that are, that maybe you admire their color palettes, but you're, you don't know how to go around it. Maybe yeah. you can do like what I'm doing with the flowers. Maybe you can just do little studies of them and just yeah. Color pick colors from other people and just yeah. that's how you learn and see how they work together. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Cool. So, chat, thank you so much for hanging out. Brittany says, You might be a lazy fish, but you're not a lazy artist. <laughs> Agreed. Thank you, Brittany. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Brittany, and thanks everyone <laughs> for hanging out. We've got uh, Chris and Christine coming up next for more illustration goodness. And if you want to follow Lissy on Instagram, it's lazyfish11. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. So go give her a follow. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, focusing on illustration and keep working on your challenges because you could possibly win a free year of Creative Cloud and have your work featured. Seriously, do it. No, I want to do it. I want to do it. Can I do it? Can I get it? You can a submit year? this. Can I submit this? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, everyone. We'll be back in just a couple minutes with more illustration. And until then, go get some water. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.